You've been adding movement to your videos wrong this whole time. Let me show you a quicker, easier, and a way better way to do it. Let's hop right into this. So the way most people would go about adding movement to their video on a clip like this is they'd go over to effect controls, go up to video motion right here, keyframe scale, go close to the end, and then scale in just by scrolling to the side and making that number bigger and then directing their keyframe to the right. As you guys can see on this clip here, we do have a zoom in, but there is a way easier way to do this that looks way better. Now you guys might know what I'm talking about. And if you do, make sure you stay all the way to the end because there's gonna be a couple other tips that I guarantee you guys don't know. If we go back and control Z and remove everything we did that clip, we're gonna go into our project next. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click and create an adjustment layer. Dragging and dropping our adjustment layer on top of our footage, we're gonna crop it to our clip just like so. Now what we're gonna do to get the way better version is we're gonna go up and we're gonna search transform. Once we drag and drop transform onto our adjustment layer, we're gonna then open up effect controls. Now, as you guys can see, transform compared to regular motion, there's a couple differences. And the main one that's really gonna give us the advantage is these few options down here, which is use composition shutter angle, the shutter angle and sampling. Now, as you guys can see, motion does not have this and this plays a very important role. And let me show you guys why. So if we go to the very beginning, just like before, and we keyframe the scale, and then we go to the end and have it scale in by bringing it up, just like we did before as you guys can see it looks the exact same as before but if we go ahead and turn off the use composition shutter angle and we play with the shutter angle ourselves by turning it up i'm gonna bring it up to 360 which is the max you guys can then see that we have this motion blur on the edges compared to having it at 360 and zero it adds a realistic camera motion blur now you guys can really tell the motion blur is there if you bring your keyframes really close together on a clip like this if we go and bring them from 360 to zero you guys can see the major differences there and if you think 360 is a little bit much for you well well, I also recommend doing it at 160 or 260 or just dragging it to your liking. Now playing with the sampling here between bicubic and bilinear isn't really gonna do anything. The two most important ones is this on and off button here for use composition shutter angle and the shutter angle itself here. Now using all this information, I created a super useful pack for you guys so you can drag and drop these effects onto your videos super fast. Now that pack is my fast movement effects V3 pack that I have here. Opening up all of these folders here, you guys can see we have a ton of different transitions and effects that you guys can add in your videos just by dragging and dropping on adjustment layers like before. Now what I have here is a six frame adjustment layer. What we're going to do is we are going to hold all and we're going to duplicate these in between a bunch of cuts in the video here. Now what I'm now going to do at random is I'm going to go through all of our different hits, shakes, and wipes and drag and drop them in between as transitions. So we're going to start off with an aggressive hit, then we're going to move on to a crazy shake, and then we're going to do a crazy wipe up transition here. Now we're just going to go on and rotate between the three, Now that we have all of our effects on our adjustment layers, I'm going to play it through for you guys without the effects. And now playing it through with the effects for you guys. You guys can see it added so much more movement and life to the video. We have a bunch of super clean wipes here. As you guys can see, this one goes up. We bring it over to this clip here. That looks so clean compared to having it off. And we also have another wipe here that goes to the side. And this shake right here would look a lot better on this clip because this one already has a sort of transition here. You guys can see it goes in and then wipes to the side just like that. It looks so clean. Now I've gone through and meticulously tweaked every single one of these that will work the best on your footage. All you guys have to do is match the frames right here on the length of your adjustment layer and you guys will get super clean looks. If you guys do want to go grab this pack though, it's linked in the description below and it's on sale right now. So make sure you guys go check it out before the sale is off. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a thumbs up and comment down below what other effect tutorials you guys want me to do next. I'm going to be uploading a lot more frequently on the channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.